Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to. So this is my favorite book, Still Don't Like Reading Though, by Jaden Animations. Now I reacted to, I think the video is called, uh, I Don't Like Reading or like something about reading. And yeah, personally I don't really like reading because again, it's not, it's not subtle really. I mean, when it comes to books, I feel like there's... I, I think with visual representations, you can be more subtle, but with words, especially, but with words, you have to visualize everything. Not only that, you kind of have to be less subtle for the, the reader to understand what's going on so they can visualize it. So that's why I feel like I don't really like books. But yeah, anyways, guys, original and description, make subscribe to Jane Animation, so I can just click it right into it now. So... This is a weird video to follow up with after I just talked about how much I don't like reading for like seven minutes. But I guess it kind of works out because since you've obviously seen that video, right? Yeah, we don't have to I reacted talk about to my it. Tragic reading backstory that's left me in soul crushing shambles. So, what book could <laughs> someone like me, who's English been forever ruined from the past haunting memories of reading, call a favorite? Harry Potter? Lord of the Rings? Grapes of Wrath? Nope. None of these revolting pieces of literature nice. hold a candle uh, to the masterpiece. Me. Leave it to Pet, The Misadventures of a Recycled Super Robot. Is this a joke? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I read this book in sixth grade when I was 11, and I'll preface it with, yes, it's a manga. Do I want to get into the That's what I thought. manga? Comic books or graphic novels are considered real books. I don't think so. I don't actually remember how I stumbled well, no. on this book. I remember only But they're good so because they have visual representations. Or a friend, but your guess is as good as mine. We can say it's a gift from the Lord. Leave it to Pet, the misadventure of the recycled super robot, is about this nine-year-old boy, Noboru, who recycled an orange juice bottle. The recycling plant wanted to say thanks for recycling and sent this little bottle robot called Pet to rescue him whenever he needs help or is in danger. Sounds great, but the catch is Pet is actually trash. Just kidding. Pet's childish, easily distracted, and overly confident in his abilities, which results in him making situations comedically worse and not being able to fix anything. Also, I don't know if you picked up on this, but this is not a high reading level book. Don't make fun of me for liking it. The book starts off with Pet introducing himself oh. as Naboru and his friends are being picked on by bullies. But when he arrives to oh. save the day, no one understands what Pet is or is supposed to do or why he's here. Obviously, what would you do if this thing walks up and starts talking to you? Yeah. So Pet explains, I'm the orange juice bottle you recycled the other day. And Naboru's like, I don't know what you're talking about. And Pet's like, I can't believe you don't remember. Freak. And the dynamic grows from there. There's not really a <laughs> story. It's more episodic chapters where the characters are in different everyday scenarios that just get a little out of hand. And Pat, of course, is being a little bag of trash complicating things that should have been an easy fix or weren't even problems to begin with. <laughs> Nabor is out fishing with his friends and his line is caught on some rocks. So he calls for Pat. Leave it to Pet, what seems to be the problem? And as Nabor is explaining, Pet gets overpowered by the current. Not a problem. It's like it never happened. Pet assesses the situation. I see your hook is stuck at the bottom of the river. Ka-ching, ka-ching. I know exactly what to do. Whoosh. And he cuts the line off. Namor is like, what the heck, dude? And Pet's like, what, you wanted that old thing? And he's like, yes, of course I wanted it. More characters are introduced later on, but my favorites are P2, where in his debut, when he's describing how he's the new and improved pet model with his 200% faster speed, larger body, but lighter weight. Uh, he blows away because he's so light and Pet's all, dang, that's awesome. And explodes off his arms and legs to burn <laughs> <out of> his <laughs> I wish humans could do that. <laughs> so Miles Oliver is a great character. You drag his limp body around on a leash. I think the reason I love this book so much is, frankly, a lot of nostalgia. Not sure a 20-something year old would pick this Also because it's just, I think, hilariously bad or but the maybe just Sonishi it's Kenji comically. Also created, in my opinion, a really cute little knucklehead I just want to have in my life. An 11-year-old me was obsessed with. Pet became one of my favorite characters for a bit, and I would draw him all the time. In class, we had our desks arranged in groups, and I had a bit of open space on the side because my desk was on the corner. So I drew a little pet and stuck him on the side for the world to see how much of a stan I was. Uh, no one cared. Why are you drawing orange juice? I would make my own little original <laughs> characters of bottle robots that I would want. I believe the original- Oh my god! Crash Sona and That's so relatable! I could have my own pet. 
I was really <laughs> big on imagination and stuff as a kid, so anything that played around with enhancing reality and fun and creative waves was right up my alley. And it taught yeah. me how to recycle, so you're welcome, <laughs> Greta Thunberg. I don't think I've nice. ever heard anyone talk about this book. <laughs> ever? It seems like it slipped under the radar for some reason. And I think it deserves more love because the humor in it was suitable for 11-year-old me, and I bought the book to read through again, and the humor is still suitable for me. So either it's fun oh, for nice. all ages, or I haven't mentally progressed in <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with having oh, hey, age nice. age groups. But oh, I think Game of there Thrones, should just yeah. be more things Adventure like Ted, the misadventures of a recycled super robot. Bringing families and people of all ages together with his charm, froggy hat and massive glistening samurai muscles i'm telling you there's something in here for everyone sure the story is pretty simple what but the humor which i always value the most is great for all ages and doesn't try to dumb anything down to baby younger readers i think it's easy to think kids are children until they're not but they're still people and can tell when they're being talked down to now go for oh, yeah. this pathetic little boy. Anyway, I just really Oh yeah, totally. Book. It's cute, funny. Pet reminds me of Ari. Hey, Ari, hey, Ari. A recycled super robot. <laughs> an orange juice bottle. You can read the whole thing in like 20 minutes if not faster. If I were to critique one thing, uh, I wasn't too keen on how they kept introducing new recycled robots and the crew just started getting a bit too crowded by the end in my opinion. I liked when it was just a few characters and would have liked to see them play around with more ideas instead of just bringing in a new character to depend on new ideas for. But Bottle Doggy was a masterpiece. He can stay. There's actually three other books that come after it but I haven't read them because I'm worried that they won't be as good and I want to remember oh, Pet yeah. as the example of perfect literature. It Makes is. sense. Hundreds of books that I would probably enjoy more than this one if I gave a chance. Yes. But am I All still right. going to end the video without giving a reasonable explanation for me not trying to find them? Yep. Oh. Oh. All right. So, um, yeah, honestly, so I found this to be a lot, a little bit relatable. I don't, I don't like throwing living trash bots. No. But, um... The thing is, is that the whole imagination part where I would, you, like, where they would create, where she would create her own, like, you know, bottle bots or whatever they're called. Like, I would do the same thing for, like, some other shows or whatever. Like, I think I, um, I, I watched Mixels, I think, and I would create my own Mixels. I think I did that as a kid. And, yeah, honestly... It, yeah, honestly, this was this was very relatable. And one thing she was talking about uh, that kids know that they're being talked down to. Yeah, honestly, I feel like some adults don't understand that. I mean, I'm glad that she does, but I feel like a lot of adults don't understand that. But uh, yeah, anyways, guys, enjoy the book and the comments. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>